Kevin Bacon on his spring break and he's doing what he loves best which is looking for food. He took the holiday off with us. He didn't want to come to someone having Easter. He was afraid he'd be on the table but he knows that if he's with us he's not going to be on the table. Come Kevin. Because Kevin's spending Pesach, eating kosher. Matzah! Do you like some matzah? Sit. Good boy. Come. And he loves the matzah. Come. Kevin. 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 Scottish tunnel. No, you're not going to say that, huh? Just eat the matzah. And that's what we have for Pesach. Yes. A kosher Pesach. And we don't eat the pig. Pigs are never eaten in this house. So he's having a good time. Kevin is actually on break from our high school animal science program. While school is out, he needed to have more companionship than he could get with the students coming in. They come in for a few hours a day to take care of the animals and do an excellent job. But Kevin needs more. He wants to play. Hey, there you go. Good boy. Kevin's a Juliana pig. And his parents, his mom weighed 34 pounds and his dad weighed less than 30 pounds. And he was adopted into our animal science program. And he's almost a year old. And he won't get much bigger than this. It's not like the Vietnamese pot bellies get about 60 pounds. But he's expected to stay under 30, unless he keeps eating all this matzah. He's probably gained a few pounds over the holidays. Here you go. Here you go. And of course, we can't just give him the matzahs. We gotta have some greens. So of course we'd have those macarons. Ah, oh, you got the green. Here we go. Not more of those. Carpus, maybe. Here you go. Here you go. You already had your sandra. Oh, he smells the macaron. He doesn't want the green. Here, is this what you smell? This is one of those hard macaroons. It's been in the store too long. There you go. Is that good? Yeah, crunchy. Come. Look around this way. Look around this way. Yeah, look around this way. Is that good? You want more? Sit. No, you don't want to sit. You just want that macaroon. Sit. You know, just dance on your hind legs. I'm going to have you do that. One way to get rid of those stale macaroons. It's hard, even for a pig, but he's managing. If it's food, he will manage. And then he vacuums up the crumbs, and then he'll do that. So he's like the crumb vacuumer. And all we have left now is our fuss. Here, this is it. Here you go. It's just greens. Says, Where's the matzo? Where's the macaroons? He's gonna get all the crumbs of those before he starts on the greens. No more. You just have to eat that. Let's stick your lip out. You're sticking your lip out. He does that when he wants something. He begs. You're sticking your lip out because you want some macaroons and I don't have more. I have more matzo. You wanna stick your lip out for matzo?
likes being on this rug. This is his rug. Does he like his pig skin? Juliana pig, though, they were developed to hunt truffles. Whereas a regular pig hunting truffles underground, they get too big to control within a few years. You wouldn't get very many truffles because the pig would get them all. But a little pig, it stays little, and so they can have them throughout their lifetime, which is a good span if they're not slaughtered. Pigs that are slaughtered live way under a year. They bring them to full size very quickly. But a good pig like this, they would just keep and let them hunt truffles, I guess, since he was very old. I don't think they would eat a pet pig like this. Come here. And he will do anything for food. He needs a sign. Will work for food. We'll check your rug for food. He went through our house, took out all the crumbs. We call the hummus. There's not a pretzel or anything left, right? Not at all. And we occasionally take him upstairs so that um, you have a little run around. But he'll come back down here to use the restroom. We have to carry him down because his legs are too short to make it down the stairs. What are we looking at? like to have a blanket and at night he sleeps up here and he pull he jumps up and he pulls his blanket over him and I'll look down the hallway and there he is sleeping on the sofa. It's a clean pig. Those pigs are. They, they only get dirty in mud when they need to be cooled down because they can't sweat. At uh, the animal menagerie he has air conditioning for the summer, but we're going to see if he stays for the summer. Most of the, we have uh, between him and a ferret, the uh, animals with a higher intelligence need more attention time. So that's why we take them for the holidays. And the other animals are good just playing with their friends and being taken care of every day. Pig, pig, squirt. You think I have the food? Food's over there. Good night, Isabel. 
food, isn't it? Yeah, make your face. Yeah, you got food over there. Not for me. Yeah, you want to hunt the hot Yeah? You want to hunt the hot Here it is. Find it. Oh, well, that was fast. A more. Oh, yeah. Where is that hot Where did he go? You're just too quick and you eat it all. It's not fair. Nothing left for us. Sit. What, you gonna push that? Come. Sit. Can you sit? Not stand up on your hind legs. Sit. Sit. Good boy. That's good. Hey. You like that. And earlier he ate all the stale macaroons. Okay, now we're gonna let him vacuum the rug, which is his favorite job. He was vacuuming. Good, there's more. Go get it. Go get it. Vacuum the rug. Be a Roomba. There he goes. It's over there. It's over there. You are drooling. Come here, pig. Let's get the drool off your face. There you go. Much better. Anyway, Kevin makes a very good school pig for the animal science program. We have a lot of small animals and birds and reptiles, but we didn't have any agricultural animals. And he's small enough and more interesting enough and intelligent enough to be the agricultural part of the program, along with some chickens that we're going to be getting in a few weeks. We're going to be hatching some eggs. And then we'll have bacon and eggs, Kevin Bacon and the chickens. You like that joke? No? You just like to eat things. Back at the school, he has a time feeder for pellets, and then he gets vegetables. Over the summer and the breaks, so we have students there three hours a day, almost every day, taking care of all the animals. But we decided for our holidays he could come home because he likes a lot more than three hours worth of attention. Oh, he's got the drumsticks. You gonna play the drums again? Woke me up the other night playing the drums. The cymbal. You heard that crash. Come on. Belly rub. Belly rub. Belly rub. Gonna be in Kevin. Belly rub. Right there, you push up. He lies down. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Are you ready to go looking for food again? We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Come here. 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 Come here.